When a strange copy of a U.S. Nimitz-class carrier first showed up in 2013 in the Persian Gulf, Iranian authorities said it would be used as a prop for films. However, two years later, during the war game for the regime's Revolutionary Guard Corps, the carrier was attacked as proof of Iran's alleged superiority over the U.S. military. The mock-up is merely a barge disguised as an aircraft carrier that's symbolically attacked during military exercises. Repairs were made after the first war games, but now Iran's forces have sunk it by accident. The satellite picture shows the fake USS Nimitz capsized after a drill in July of 2020. The location where the vessel sank is particularly inconvenient for Iran, since it blocks the main entrance to a vital port. Escalating Tensions The tensions between the United States and Iran had been rising since May 2018, when President Donald Trump unilaterally withdrew the U.S. from the Iran nuclear deal. The height of the incidents between both countries was reached in January 2020, when a U.S. drone attacked near Baghdad International Airport, taking out Iranian General Qasem Soleimani. Escalating pressure continued into late July of 2020, when a U.S. F-15 fighter jet approached a passenger plane from Iran after it deviated from the civilian air corridor over Syria. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javed Zarif said the action endangered innocent lives. A week later, in what was considered a response to the F-15 incident, a mock U.S. aircraft carrier was spotted leaving the port of Bandar Abbas. This footage, taken by the space technology company Maxer Technologies, shows the carrier before it was pulled by tugboats out to the Strait of Hormuz. The Fake The replica seemed to be the USS Nimitz aircraft carrier of the U.S. Navy, usually sailing in the Persian Gulf. It also had U.S. Navy markings painted on the side. In early July, the namesake carrier of the Nimitz class entered Mideast waters as a replacement for the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, according to NBC News. This photo shows 16 mock-up fighter jets on the deck of the carrier. The vessel may be trying to mimic the Nimitz, however it's 300 feet shorter and 100 feet narrower than the original carrier. The satellite image was taken exactly a day before the military exercises called Great Prophet 14. The demonstration was led by the Revolutionary Guard Corps, the paramilitary forces controlling the regime's ballistic missiles. During the war games, the Corps display their military capabilities and show off their helicopter-mounted anti-ship weapons. Oops. As part of the drill, speedboats fired their machine guns against the carrier. Later, it was hit with surface-to-sea rockets. Although the replica is supposed to be reusable, the symbolic missile attack actually sank the vessel. This picture, taken through Pleiades satellite imagery and shared by the open-source intelligence team of researchers Aurora Intel, shows the replica as it capsized outside the harbor entrance to the Bandar Abbas port. In the image, the vessel could be seen listing to one side and with half of the flight deck submerged. That was a particularly bad place to have a capsized vessel since it blocked the port's main approach channel. It also represented a hazard for ships that sailed around it because the water there is only 45 feet deep. It's not the first time such a replica has been seen. It was first photographed between 2013 and 2014. Back then, the Iranian authorities said it was going to be used as a movie prop. In 2015, however, the mock-up aircraft carrier was destroyed during a war game to prove Iran's alleged military superiority over the United States. Great Prophet 9 In 2015, Iran was in negotiations with six countries, including the U.S., over the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, better known as the Iran Nuclear Plan. In February of that year, the regime's Revolutionary Guard Corps performed its Great Prophet 9 military exercises in the Strait of Hormuz, a waterway through which 20% of the world's oil passes. The biggest event of the exercise was supposed to be yet another destruction of the mock-up U.S. aircraft carrier. For the drill, a missile was mounted into the belly of a Shahed 278 helicopter. The small chopper was a knockoff version of the Bell Ranger jet and has been produced by Iran since 1979. The missile is thought to have been similar to the 20-pound warhead American Hellfire. Such a weapon is smaller than the anti-ship missiles that Iran's forces use. It's unlikely it would do significant damage to a 980-foot long U.S. carrier. But in this case, the weapon wasn't supposed to sink the vessel. Instead, it was meant to land near the mock-up carrier and destroy it symbolically. The limited damage that was done to the barge was repaired shortly before the exercise in 2020. 
Although the war games are supposed to illustrate how Iran would sink a vessel like the USS Nimitz, key elements are missing during the drills. For example, actual carriers are protected by heavily armed escorts. Other unrealistic strategies included divers planting limpet mines on the fake vessel's hull. The exercise might be dramatic, but Iran would, in reality, likely struggle to destroy a real US aircraft carrier. <laughs>